Yo, hey everybody. So in this video, I'm gonna run through the process that I like to use when I'm removing a cassette that is stuck on the free hub body. Um, I already cracked this thing loose earlier and I discovered that it was stuck. You know, the first two cogs come off really easily, but as you can see, the rest are wedged or stuck into place there. So uh, I made a video a few years back on this same topic, but the cassette was not actually stuck. I just showed the method I used and it upset quite a few people because they wanted to see an actual stuck cassette. So this cassette is actually stuck on this free hub body. So one method I'll use if there's not a lot of holes and things in the cassette sprockets is to just hit it with some channel locks or pliers of some sort but this is usually the way I'll do it just take a pick or an allen wrench and you just stick it in one of these holes and then push off against the cog that's directly beneath the one you're working with there so basically once you rotate this guy about a clockwise um, just a couple degrees uh, counterclockwise I should say it basically just re uh, sets the cog into the you know back into the spline so what happens is you have these individual cassette cogs that are very thin you have an aluminum free hub body and the the cogs just dig in and then they don't want to come out um, so if you uh, push them back into their into the groove there you know so you'll still have to you know, I used the, the, the pliers method on the last version just to show that style. But, um, you know, a lot of guys I'll see, they'll just start, go right at it with a screwdriver or something, flathead screwdriver, and try to pry them off. But it's really just, a lot of times you're just going to damage and bend up the cogs. So you got to clock them back, counterclockwise a half a degree or so. Um, so I'm, you know, getting down to the, um, the, uh, the center um, portion there that holds, you know, it's aluminum, it's kind of thick, and it holds the, uh, the little spider carrier that holds the rest of the cogs. And sometimes those will come right up off of there. This one did not. And you can see the little witness marks, those little silver dots. And that's basically where the cogs, the individual ones, had dug in. And so they kind of, it pushes out maybe a quarter to half a millimeter or so. It's just aluminum so I you know at this point I can't get that last the the center section center the spider carrier off so I'm just gonna take a flat file and just zip it across just to get those back down you know to the original height of the outside splines of the free hub body doesn't take long you don't want to go get too wild with it just enough to knock them down before you can slide the rest off so uh, yeah that's basically it as far as that um, you know, from here it just it'll slide right off of there. So <clears throat> the you know you can see after I you know kind of knocked them down. You can do this a few you know I don't know a handful of times before you'll the cogs have dug in so deep that you just eventually want to replace that free hub body. But um, really one of the best methods to keep that from happening in the first place is uh, just torque this thing down correctly. You know torque it. it most all cassettes, the lock ring specifies on there to torque to 40 newton meters. So that's pretty dang tight. Um, you know, a lot of guys like to grease the the uh, cogs too. But in my opinion, that just kind of facilitates the ease of digging in. So torque them down when you're putting that cassette on. Um, yeah, hopefully you found the video informative, helpful, and I'll see you guys next time.